Radio DJ Zip. What it do? Cut the beat. Alright, you got it. I ain't get the face right with that, man. It's on the side. Welcome to vlog number five. I know it's late as hell. I'm very sorry for that. We had something planned out, but life happens. Um, but I'm not gonna make excuses. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna make this vlog. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Get it. So we about to go to a party. A party in the city. We don't we don't really do that, but we don't party. We're gonna no. we're gonna show you this party. Take your girls on a good date. Bring up the party city. It's literally a party. That's why it's called Party City, guys. I mean, they got everything. Captain America. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Yo, they got Mario skateboards, bro. Mario skateboards. Mario skateboards. Seb got that money, so he blinged me up. I already know. It, bro. The Arab oh, money. Good looks. It's real. It's real. It's real. Bling bling. What are we doing? What are we doing? That's the thing. <laughs> so it's my friend's birthday, and I'm trying to surprise her. But the thing is, Party City does not have the two in the color she prefer bleh, preser bro, uh, <laughs> prefers. <laughs> they don't got the number two? They don't got that number two. We're bro. talking about balloons? We're talking about balloons. Balloons. So they don't have the number two in rose gold or even pink. Or they just have the eight. zero. So, yes, she's turning 20. But the thing is, they don't have the two. So <laughs> she's she about to go back in the womb or some shit, bro. Like, <laughs> you said it like six times. They don't have the two. <laughs> they don't have the two. Have I'm the thing I'm is, we don't got the two. <laughs> so I don't know where, where I'm going to get this two from because I'm mad right now. Like, this lady's happy as shit. She got some balloons. We out here, like, balloonless. So it's like much later in the day. Uh,. We didn't eat because we don't eat food. We don't. So it's going to be a cheat meal. Cheat meal, guys. Let's get it. But don't worry, because this is loaded with sour cream, which is crucial. That's what he does before every set. <laughs> let's get it. We squatting <laughs> underneath the bar. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the gym. I hope you're excited for the first voiceover. I finally got myself a mic so you can actually hear what I'm saying. It's a wonderful thing, guys. Alright, so we're warming up the back right here. This is technically a row. So we're warming up pretty much everything in the back. Lats, the, uh, the width of the back rhomboids. Um, but just make sure you're pulling from your back. You don't want to try and use your biceps or your arms too much, and that's going to get a good stretch. Um, you can see here, Zeb's getting that stretch from his back. There you go. He's not pulling from his arms. He's pulling from his back. That's what's important with this exercise. Well, this warm-up, stretch, you know, whatever you want to call it. So we're about to hop into deadlifts. <sighs> ah, dang, I just hit my... Mmm, dang. Okay, so we're doing a sumo deadlift, and we're doing conventional deadlift today. This is sumo. Um, watch the foot placement guys. My, uh, my legs are much more spread apart and my feet are pointing outwards. This allows me to get my hips and my butt lower, uh, when I'm doing the lift. Um, now you have sumo and conventional when it comes to deadlifting. Make sure you guys try both of them. Um, Zeb doesn't like sumo. I don't like conventional, you know, it's different for different people. People have different body structures. So we're going to have to show you conventional in three, two, one. I mean, three, two, one. Dang. All right, here's, here's a conventional. You see his feet are about shoulder width apart. His arms are wider out um, for the grip because um, his legs aren't so wide out. So he can get his arms wider out. Um, and with this, basically his butt and his, uh, his butt, his butt and his hips are not going as far down. That's pretty much the main 
the main difference. Uh, it's still working posterior chain. Um, there's a few small differences, um, but they're both mainly working that lower back. So yeah, that's the deadlift. We're moving into lat pull down now. This is a little bit different style. Uh, if you're using this machine, make sure you get that W that, that you can see right there that my body's making with this machine. You want to squeeze with your lats at the bottom. That's huge. You can see Zeb here. Up. Hold. Look at that hold. Squeeze with the lats on that hold, guys. You want to get that hold. That's really important. And make sure you're squeezing through your back. You want to make sure you feel this exercise as much as possible. Uh, now we're moving into a seated row. Um, again, Zeb is pulling with his back. Now this is going to work mostly the width of your back. It's going to work the lats too, but it's big on your width. So you want to try and pull from the center of your back. Bring your shoulders together at the end of this exercise if you can, and keep your chest high. It's very important. Um, now we're moving into a lat uh, rope pull down, I guess. You want to kind of make your body like a C. So um, have your feet in front of you and kind of lean forward and pull from your lats. You can kind of see my back activating through my shirt, but also my triceps are activating. It's a secondary muscle, so obviously that's going to activate. Just make sure you're pulling from your back. And now we're moving into a hoist bicep curl. Whenever you're doing this bicep curl, if you're using the hoist machine or you're uh, using cables or dumbbells, whatever you're doing, make sure you're bringing your arms all the way down at the end to get that full extension and then pull. Um, usually do higher reps of this. We try and do like 20, uh, get a nice pump in there. No, uh, nothing too heavy, um, but yeah, get good reps out of it pretty much. Um, anyway, guys, we're also in a deload week this week, just so you know, which is when you um, take all your lifts and you make them just a little bit lighter give yourself some chance for recovery. So if you're in a heavy lifting program, make sure you add a deload week in there. It's really important. These are spider curls, guys. Um, it's taking your body that, out of the equation. You'll see people doing bicep curls, swaying their body, trying to get the weight up. This takes that out of the equation, only lets your biceps work. Um, so try and keep your elbows forward and just squeeze those biceps, guys. And this is the last exercise. We're doing a hammer curl. Uh, it's a rope hammer curl, so just get from the bottom, pull all the way up to your chin. It's gonna work the brachialis. That's going to be the end of this workout, guys, and look at that pool, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this vlog. Dang. Damn, bro. That's a pump right there. All right, guys. Little so pump. One quick message for you. you never do keto. So I know I'm playing, but for real, like, those carbs do give you that pump. But I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of, I talked about this before, the, the carbs and the pump and everything, which is great. I mean, it feels great. Like, trust me, right now, I'm like, ooh, like, I really want to start eating carbs again. Mm -hmm. But you can't do it. The goal is to get lean. It is road to 155. Road those, to 155. There's a car in front of you. Bro, I see the car. It's this <laughs> same dude. Green for a minute ain't going. Like, come on, bro. Anyways, uh, Matt's, Matt just got a good-ass bicep pump bro, today, and he's bro. hyped as shit. And, like, my... Like my last chest workout is like my, my last couple chest workouts, my bench is so weak and it's like it's hurting, but I'm feeling so good today. So I wanna share this with you guys because if you are doing keto and you have a cheat meal and then you go work out, one if you're gonna have a cheat meal, go work out afterward because you'll feel great and it's a great right. feeling. But don't get caught up in that. At the end of the day, that's gonna be there for you later. And you just gotta think about it, like the leaner you are, the the better you look. You're going to look bigger the leaner you are. I'm, there's been people coming to me ever since I did my diet saying like, dang, like you put on muscle. I'm like, no, man, I dropped weight. Like, yeah, I've been working out and stuff and I'm putting on lean muscle mass, but I'm not bulking. I'm not putting on a lot of muscle. I'm just losing weight. And that, you know, that's the goal. You know, a lot of people, hopefully, at least I think a lot of people that are watching this are doing this, you know, like obviously for a healthier lifestyle, but they want to look good. They want to feel good about themselves. Right. Losing that body fat is really important. So like, I, I would just want you guys to know that like, it will pay off guys because yeah it's a good pump but i don't i don't look ripped i just i just look like my arms are pumped you know like this could look so much better if i was leaner right. so stick to your goals you know you're gonna have bumps you're gonna go over stuff and another thing i want to talk about like guys if you get off your diet and it's like you know one two a week you know any amount of days don't beat yourself up over it there's so many people that say oh man i was off my diet um for three four days i'm not even gonna lie that's how i was like a week ago, like I ate pizza like three times. I had uh, dark chocolate M&Ms with peanuts. Yeah. Like I was smashing this it man. Was no, it was it was Halloween, him, right? Called him my sensu beans, yeah. bro. Like they're great. But um, I didn't beat myself up over it. I got back onto it. Macadamia nuts. Macadamia helped me through nuts. It. They helped me through it. Busting but, all kinds of nuts. <laughs> Continue. 
Yo, these nuts be smacking though. He eats these nuts and then chokes on them and then talks about how great they are. So mm. that's beside the fact of what we're talking about. Anyway, what was I even talking about? See, this is what happens. Nuts. You're eating hella dark chocolate. Oh, okay, yeah. So when you get off your diet, don't beat yourself up about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't say, oh, I gotta go do five hours of cardio and I gotta work out six hours and like eat nothing for the next couple days. No, just get back into your routine um, because you're just gonna make it miserable for you guys. And that's like, I keep ranting. This is like a quick rant. I'm not gonna do too much, but also guys with a diet, I know this is everywhere, but it's just information I wanna get out to you guys. I think it's important. With a diet, the best way to be on a diet is not think that you're being on a diet. With keto, like, the stuff that I eat, I really enjoy it. I mean, I do miss the carb pumps, but it's okay because I'm trying to cut and it's worth it at the point. Like at this point, with a diet, you you don't want to feel like you're restricting yourself. Because if you feel like you're restricting yourself, then you're like, dang, I can't have this. I can't have this. Think about what you can have. Do a diet that works for you. Keto might not be the best diet for you. You might just want to count your macros, keep your carbs in, or you know maybe. Um, I don't know, you wanna do like paleo, which is close to keto, but like there's all these different diets out there, guys. Find one that works for you so that you don't feel like it's a diet. Make it a lifestyle, because if it's a lifestyle, it'll be so much easier for you to stick to. You won't feel miserable. I mean, the best thing is if you can be happy and excited about a cut, because then you're gonna be so successful. You're, you know, you're gonna see all those, you know, bad foods that you can't eat, bad foods that you can't eat. And you're just like, oh, I don't want that. And like, the whole bad food thing, guys, it's moderation. Everything is moderation, you know? Don't go out every single night drinking, but you know, you don't have to sit at home every day, you know? Moderation. Moderation. So, that's my rant, guys. Word of the day, pump is real. Moderation, guys. Love all you. We're ending the vlog here. Good night! Ah! Damn, bitch! <laughs>